So I made this uh, very quick example of how to use the blood effects from Houdini in Unreal Engine 5. I'm gonna explain how can you import files correctly, what are the, you know, these small checks that you have to be careful before importing so you avoid issues like scale issues. I'm also gonna show you how to do the blood material in Unreal Engine 5. Also how to use the sequencer in Unreal Engine to play the Alembic catch. I must say that it is kind of required that you have some basic knowledge of Unreal Engine 5 because I'm not really gonna dive into a lot of details step by step. I'm assuming that you have already tried the software, but if any question, just put it in the comments and I will be glad to help you. All right, so I have already made a new project in Unreal Engine. It's a basic uh, project uh, with a small base. I don't need like the full landscape, but let's start by creating a new folder, uh, call the folder or whatever you want. In this case, I'm just gonna call it tutorial examples. Then inside of the folder, you right click with your mouse and you're going to click on import to. You will get the import options. And the first thing we're going to change is the import type to geometry catch. By default, it comes as a static mesh, but we are we don't have a static mesh. We have a whole animation in our Alembic. So we use the geometry catch. This will read that animation in our Alembic click in, in geometry catch. The next thing will be the frame start and the frame end. For some reason, Unreal Engine by default reads your frame end correctly, but it won't read the frame start correctly. And this is very important because if you just import the Alembic with zero, you will have a lot of uh, frames that are not in use or nothing will really show up until frame 1000, which in this case is what I have set up my Houdini project to start with from 1000 to 1040. I have explained before why I do this. Uh, so you change the zero to 1000. Then next is the flatten tracks. This option here, uh, I'm not hundred percent how it works, but my experience is that when I'm importing character that has like different materials, textures, I believe this will like uh, merge everything in one, uh, one track. It actually says when you put hover the mouse on the, uh, the option, it will explain what it does. In this case for our blood, it doesn't matter, but I will still uncheck and just you know, for sake of mind, I will just uncheck this. Um, and then everything else remains the same. There's not much to change. I don't, I'm not gonna change the scale or any of this here or um, like these presets for the scale and rotation because so I will show you why it's better to do these scale settings in Houdini before importing into Unreal Engine. So click import. And depending on the size of your Alembic catch, it will take some time. It can be, I don't know, minutes or seconds. That will depend. In, in our case, I think because we have um, optimized, uh, or I have showed you how to optimize it, you should be able to import by fairly quick. The first thing that you will probably try is to drag it into the viewport and see how it works. And you might notice that it won't uh, work until you play, like you get into the play mode. But this is not what we want. Uh, what I actually want is to use the effects in the sequencer of Unreal Engine and assemble my short film, my video using the sequencer there. So let's start by, as you can see, I have created a, uh, some sequencer like for testing that I will show you later, but let's start by creating one and click on add master sequence. I'm gonna change the name to tutorial example. Uh, the number of shots by default is five. I have decreased the number to one because I'm just gonna use one click to show you. So create the master sequence and then you will have a shot and it, this will also create a camera for you, which is assigned to that shot. This is the space where we will be working. So what I do is that in a sequence, I have different shots with different cameras assigned to the shots. And on each one of them, I will 
import like all the animation for that camera angle. For example, in the video I made, I have five shots and on each one of them, I have different animations, um, a lamb bit catch and so on. I have the stuff that I did for that shot. So you can see like in this shot, I have a Scorpion animation and Sub-Zero animation. And on the last one, it's when I have both animations in different moments and like in different timing. Uh, and also all the Olympic catch of the blood. Okay, back to our import. Uh, find your Olympic catch and select it and drag it into the shot in your sequencer. It will appear in your outliner and it will also say to which shot that item is assigned. This is a very important step because if you drag the Olympic catch to the viewport, you can see that it doesn't say that it's uh, connected to that shot, but you can also do that, drag it into the viewport and then drag it again into the shot of your sequence. Now you can just zoom out in the viewport and find the Alembic, uh, the Alembic cache that you just uh, imported. And by default, it will appear in the center of the world. Uh, just place it whatever you want. In this case, I have created a, a box that is two meters tall. So I had that reference of a very tall person. Uh, and then just, I'm just going to place the effects there close to the box. So I can have, so I can check that the, the, the size is correct. Next, you want to go to your sequence and select your uh, Alembic catch and click in the plus button and press in geometry catch and now you finally have that animation that alembic catch in your sequencer in your shot and you can place it anytime you can put it any like from from here on you have control of when this animation will play this is like the tricky part like how to make it work and and now you are able to move your effect anywhere like place it um, rotated, animated translations, animated rotation. You can also copy the same uh, Alembic catch and rotate it and so you combine those two. And this is how it works. This is all you, this is the, the main thing. Like you can now add all your different uh, blood shapes or blood effects and combine them all together in a different time depending on whatever you want to do. Okay, so for the material, I have a very simple setup. I just created a red color, just put like one in the specular, 0 0.1 in the roughness and a normal map that I found online. This normal map, it was a quick Google search like wave shapes uh, or like water shape normal map and that's it. Just save it and put it in your effects like in your alembic catch and there you go that i think it looks pretty good uh, pretty decent there's probably other ways to do the blood color like the blood material but this is a very simple one that i think is enough so this is another setup that i came up just to see how could i how can i use the flip simulation to create other type of effects and i think it looks pretty cool and it's also very simple to set up I want to show you this uh, example where the scale was exported wrong from Houdini. If you remember in part two, uh, towards the end of the video, I talk about scaling up uh, the simulation from one Houdini unit to a hundred. So multiply by 100. You can see it in this example, the first uh, blood shot, the number one, is without the scale from Houdini. So it's only one meter in Houdini. And this is how it looks in a real engine. While the second has the scale multiplied by 100 from Houdini before exporting to Unreal.
one last thing that I want to mention when I was doing my animation, my video, I had to keyframe the spawn it option, like turn it off and on because for some reason when I was rendering, uh, it will still loop the animation and keep playing. So I had to do this manually. I keyframe the check that says spawn it and then uh, turn, it, turn it off and on and off. I, I don't think it's the ideal, it's ideal that we have to do this, but I really haven't found another way. All right, so thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and, and see you in the next tutorial.